How do you do, Mr. Beale? I must make my witness. Sure thing, Mr. Beale. Oil ministers of the OPEC nations meeting in Vienna still haven't decided how much more to increase the price of oil next Wednesday. Ready, VTA? Yeah. Iran and okay, he came in the building about five minutes ago. Call VTA. Make sure tell Snowden when he comes in. Nine, Nine eight, eight seven, you get that ball? They just six, want ten percent. Okay. five, more four, on that story three, two, 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 in Vienna. one. VTA, this has been the yeah, most divisive meeting the oil states have ever had. The 13 nations of OPEC have still not been able to decide by how much to increase okay. the price of oil. Saudi Arabia... How much time we got? Yesterday, for further consultations with You've his government, right he returned to the Vienna... This is Ed Fletcher in Vienna. Take two, Q. Howard. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street, and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radials, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. I want you to get up right now. Get up, go to your windows, open them, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Things have got to change. How many stations does this go out of I know it goes to Louisville and Atlanta. We're not going to take this anymore. Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil crisis. But first, get up out of your chairs, open the window, stick your head out and yell, and say, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Who are you talking? Are they yelling in Atlanta, Herb? Are they yelling in Atlanta, Ted? But first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. They're yelling in Baton Rouge. Get up, get up, get up out of your Son of a bitch! We struck the mother load. Stick your head out of the window, open it, and stick your head out and keep yelling and yell, I'm as mad as hell, I'm not going to take this anymore. Just get up from your chairs right now. Go to Where the window. Where are you going? Everybody I want to see if anybody's yelling. Open it and stick your head out and yell and keep yelling. I'm...